Hello guys, welcome back. So in this video series, we are going to study about creating the machine catalog using the PBS server. So here we go. I will just right click on the site and I have Zen Desktop Setup Wizard. Welcome Wizard, just proceed with next. Controllers address you need to provide here where your uh, catalog has to get created. Now, which resources would you like to use? So these are the resources where, uh, or in the other terms, if I speak about this is your hypervisors, the backend hypervisors. This is the network that I'm using. Go ahead with next. Now here you need to provide the password for this. To use these resources. So once you provide the password, once your connection is successful, it, uh, just loads the template or our templates are available so as I have already told you it doesn't use this uh, the virtual machine it would always require the config or template from the backend so this is the template that we have created now you need to also specify inside this template which version of VDA is installed that is 7.6 is the one that we have installed but proceed with next the hard disk, the standard mode hard disk. So here the hard disk which is going to display here will be only the hard disk which are available in the standard mode. If at all there is a hard disk or the VDisk that we talk about is in the private mode then it will not be listed here. So at any point of time if you are not able to see a hard disk here and which is available in the store, do not panic. Just go to the uh, store and you can uh, change the private mode to the standard mode. Go next. Want to create a new catalog or would you like to use an existing catalog? We have to create a new catalog. I'll name the catalog as uh, created using PBS. Go with next. It is a desktop OS. Go next. So what kind of desktop would you like them to get connected? I'll just go with the random. It's up to you depending on the requirement you can select it from here. Go ahead with next. So here you can make all the changes that you would like to do it, right? And how many VMs do you require? So I'll just go with two, not more than that. Go with next. Now Active Directory Accounts. So do you want to import the existing AD accounts for the computers or would you like to create the new one? So I'll go with the new one. Go next. Expand your AD and wherever you want to create you can select that so let's say i'll create it in the vdi computers only name by what name would you like to create them so let's say I'll, uh, i'm just giving these names go with next and finish and see how fast it is when compared to the mcs creation Create a list of one of one. The first creating the first desktop uh, uh, typically takes a bit time. After that, it is pretty faster. So see, one is created. Creating the second one. And we are almost done. Created, two devices created, setup complete, done, that is it. Two desktops are created. We can see how fast it is when compared to MCS. Now let's see, go ahead in the back end and verify whether it is actually created or not. So I come back here and uh, the name that we have given was Anil PVS. So by this name we should be able to see it here. So you can see here, PVS1, PVS2. The machines are created. Now, we are going to go ahead and create the delivery group now. So for that, what I'm going to do is uh, so let's go ahead and create the delivery group now. So 
Okay, so you see here that uh, the catalog that we have created is available here, created using the PDFs. Now I'll go ahead and create a delivery group. So let's click on uh, create a delivery group. Welcome wizard, just go proceed with next. And this is the one, I'm just gonna use one desktop out of it. Go with next. Restrict the users, as I have already explained you about all these things. And I'm gonna give it to the same user to which we have given it yesterday. No applications, only desktops we are gonna give and you are aware of uh, the assignment rule also. So let me name it as PVS VM, just to make the uh, differentiate between uh, the one that we have created yesterday and today. Because this user when he's gonna log in, this user when he log in, he's gonna get two desktops. Now one from the uh, which we have created yesterday and one from this PVS one. So go with next and uh, I will name it as PVS testing. I'm just giving it a random name. Go with finish. Done, created. Now let's verify for this. So as uh, I already told you, I'm just gonna show you this from uh, uh, the external networks also. So I have shown you from the internal network yesterday. So today I am going to show you with the external network. You can go ahead and use the light version and you can see here. This is the one that we deployed. Now, just click on this. Now, since it's the first time the VM has to get booted first and uh, it has to get registered in the backend. Meanwhile, you can check the uh, details. Uh, it'll load up in a while. So meanwhile, it is loading. Let's see what is happening in the backend, whether it is actually started or not. So go here. And there's one machine that is started. Let's see what's happening on the console of it. <coughs> yes, it is loaded up. So here it should come up. It will come up in a while. So probably the registration of the machine must be in the initialization state now. Oh, I need to check here. What was the name I've given? The name was PBS testing. Let me open this up. And let's check what's the registration status of the machine. Okay, it's still not uh, registered. It is still under uh, unregistered state. So it'll take quite some time to get uh, registered. As soon as it gets registered from here, on the other hand side, you'll see that uh, the VM is booted up and we, the user will be able to connect to it. So you are just trying to connect and let's see here what's the status. <coughs> Registered. Done. The VM is loaded. So this is how we work around with uh, the machine catalogs. And it is the same thing. So here if, if I put up any data inside this, any data that I'm going to push inside this, once I log off and log in back, the data will not be available. And your Windows machine is up and running. This is how we provide the access and work with it. So meanwhile, uh, let me show you something else in the PBS uh, server. So if I go here, if I expand my sites, the device collections, you see, this was the delivery group name that I have given and you can see here, the details about the VMs, those are available here. Now again, it uh, the status were from green, it went to down the reason behind that is the user has logged off now once the user logs off automatically the vm in the back end shutdowns so this is how we work with it so apart from this uh, uh, you got about all about your vdis so your sites your servers you can see here how many previous servers are there your disk pools updating the you can update the vdisks from your your main device collections 
your host connections which you are using and your stores now whenever the uh, image or the disk the v disk is in use so that point of time always the v disk will get locked so thank you so much guys thanks for watching the video